Well, I've had a lot of requests for instruction or demonstration on how to make the um, shortwave long wire antenna that I've shown in a couple of my previous Get Your Comms Up video. And that is the topic of this Get Your Comms Up video. And before I get going on that, let me just apologize for the ambient noise. It's just a nice day today here in the Northwest, and rather than being inside, I don't want to waste a nice day, so I thought I would. Uh, I thought I'd come outside. I think what I'll do is I'll I'll start this video outside for the discussion part, and then I'll take the camera inside where it's a little bit more quiet because I want to do a down camera video going over how to build this uh, antenna. So it'll be a little bit longer video, but hopefully uh, useful. So let me just go over a couple of, actually two, uh, two comments from uh, uh, two uh, fellow subscribers. One of them comes from Trail Scout 70 He said, did you make your long wire antenna or did you buy it? If you made it, where did you get the connector that fits into the Texan? So we'll address that on this video coming up. And the second one comes from Butterboom Big Al. If I can only afford one, which is best, shortwave or ham? Now I thought that was an interesting question. And of course you're asking a ham radio operator and I'm going to say ham radio. Um, everything that I am showing you with shortwave can be done with ham radio. And you might say, why do both? Well, one thing that I'm trying to do uh, with this series of videos on my channel is to help those that don't have any intention on getting their ham radio license or say all I want to do is get a radio and listen I'd rather you start investigating and getting facile with using a good shortwave uh, radio with single sideband capability and um, that's where this is aimed that said and I think most ham radio operators that are listening can attest to this um, this is just another piece of gear that has another use and while I have a number of great uh, ham radios that um, can uh, transmit and receive on some of these frequencies I like having this extra capability of a shortwave receiver um, I also have a scanner for listening to local public service and uh, safety uh, communications they each have their place they each have their use and uh, having a good shortwave uh, receiver with single sideband capability certainly augments your ham radio gear and at the bare minimum it should be the very first step for someone who's interested in adding communications to their preparedness skill set. So this is uh, another one of our little zip bags from um, AMP3 and you don't need to get one of these bags. Pick a bag that you have at home. I'm sure if you look around you've got some kind of camera bag or um, some sort of uh, little zip storage bag that you can use but inside is the antenna and a couple of hanks of um, in this case I'm using what's called micro or nano tactical cord and this is just um, some nice tightly woven miniature paracord but you can use anything so you can use uh, mason line that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can use um, uh, 550 cord, although the reason I like this is um, this is uh, just about over 100 feet and it's a little smaller, tighter package than the equivalent package of 550 cord, which is honestly a little big and bulky for just suspending um, a light wire up in some trees. And then I have a couple of pieces of stripped out paracord with some nylon uh, barrel clamps on them. And I'll, I'll have to do another video in the, in, the, in the near future, but I use these and this um, as just sort of flexible options for suspending this up in the air. And I did give a little teaser video um, in the past. I'll put a link to that below, but these just help me suspend this antenna and the and the topic of this video is going to be how do I how to make this antenna so that you can make one for yourself the last thing I keep in here is this little adapter cable so this has a plug-in for the mono plug 
and now I've gone from a mono plug, eighth inch mono plug, to an alligator clip. And I can take that and I can take that alligator clip and on any short wave radio that does not have the ability to plug in I can hook my antenna to the radio by just using this alligator clip. Now that's why I like a radio like this Texan PL880. I like to pick a radio that has the feature of an external port that I can plug this antenna into. So now I've take, taken my long wire shortwave antenna and I've plugged it directly into my Texan PL880. So part of the PDF that you'll be able to download is a supply list so you can gather up all the items to make that antenna. Now you don't need to go through this exercise of making this antenna. You can actually just take any random length of wire, the longer the better, and you can just strip off the insulation and simply twist it onto the extendable whip of your radio. Now if you get serious about this and you enjoy the capability that this provides, you'll soon find that this gets a little tiresome and you'll appreciate having a nice pre-made long wire antenna that you can use anytime, either simply plugging in or clipping onto the end of your antenna. Now what wire do you need? Honestly, look around. I bet you have wire at home and you don't need to go purchase anything does not need to be anything special but let me give you a couple of quick little tips you do want to use a wire that is stranded that's going to give you strength but also flexibility and that's going to be important because we're going to be taking this antenna and winding it up on some kind of storage device the best storage device I think is a uh, kite string winder or um, a um, a cable winder that you can get from Buddy Pole, and that's what this antenna is wound up on. And I'll give you a link. These are not very expensive, and what I like about them is it's a nice heavy-duty handle. It's, um, I believe, it's glass reinforced uh, resin. It has places that you can clip the wire when you're storing it, and it doesn't take up very much room. I made one of these that I mailed away to a friend and I just basically got a spool of 25 feet of little hookup wire from Radio Shack. So Matt just brought this home for me. It's the same wire that I made this other antenna. This is 18 gauge primary auto wire. So let's go inside and we'll get set up and make a long wire shortwave antenna. Hey, let me tell you what's coming up on Get Your Comms Up video series. We're going to make this great little grid down electronics repair kit. Now there's a lot of things you could put in a kit like this, but they would make it bigger and bulkier. This is a nice small kit that's easy to carry. You can throw it in a go bag or in a vehicle. It doesn't take up much room, but gives you a lot of capability. Stay tuned. We're going to be making one of these kits on an upcoming Get Your Comms Up video.